Gianni Infantino has been re-elected as FIFA's president through until 2027. No big surprise, though, he's keeping that top football job as he did run unopposed in the election. In other football news today, the French coach has just announced the uh, squad for the Euros next year. To talk about both stories, Selena Sykes from our sports desk is with me. And Selena, let's talk about um, Infantino first of all. His tenure so far hasn't been without controversy, but now he looks rather untouchable, doesn't he? Uh, it would seem that way, uh, Nadia, as you said, that this is obviously uh, just a formality, really. There were no other candidates uh, running against him, just like the election back in 2019. And uh, this isn't because he's universally popular uh, among FIFA's 211 national federations, far uh, from really, in fact, several European countries have been quite vocal, saying that they won't actively uh, support him in this latest uh, four-year uh, tenure of his. But he does hold a lot of support outside of Europe, particularly among uh, several small and mid-sized countries uh, that really rely very heavily on uh, funding on FIFA for their income. As things stand, uh, FIFA has rules currently limiting a FIFA president uh, to a maximum of three terms. This is Infantino's third term, but he's already been preparing uh, ground to potentially uh, stay on until 2031 on the eve of last year's World Cup final. Uh, he said that his first three years in charge didn't count. Uh, why did he say this doesn't count as a full term? Uh, well, he said that this has been backed up in a review. Of course, Infertino first came back into power in 2016 to replace a uh, much uh, disgrace as Seb Blatter, who was forced out, of course, uh, after that big uh, corruption scandal that uh, hit uh, the world of football's uh, governing body. Uh, Infantino has already set out uh, some of his plans for uh, the next four years. And, well, it's very much a continuation of what he'd already been talking about uh, beforehand. He said there is a need for way more football. Uh, this is something that's always caused a lot of controversy uh, in uh, the footballing world. The next World Cup in 2016 uh, has 48 teams. That's something we've known for a while. But what FIFA has just announced is that they will be switching back to the four-team format. They had previously said they would do a three-team format in the group stages. That means for the next World Cup, we will have 104 uh, matches. That's a lot more football than we saw in Qatar, which was just 64. So this is also means that football teams will be having to play eight games instead of seven if they want to be crowned and get uh, football's top uh, prize. This has already been criticised by player unions and most uh, top flight leagues in Europe. Well, Selena, it feels like only yesterday to fans that France won the World Cup, but we're already starting to think about the Euros for next year and um, there's a new squad. That's right. Um, it really does mark the beginning, I would say, to a new era for this French side, obviously winning the World Cup back in 2018 and very remarkably managing to get to the final and just missing out, of course, against Argentina uh, back uh, in 2022, last year. And we've seen several uh, high player, high profile players announcing their retirement, including the captain Hugo Lloris, uh, Ballon d'Or winner Karim Benzema uh, and defender Rafael Varane. That was quite a surprise, really. He'd been tipped to potentially take over the captaincy uh, from Lloris. So there are uh, some big shoes to fill. Phil. That had already happened uh, last year. We've already seen uh, several high-profile players such as Paul Pogba and uh, Engolo Conte uh, uh, injured and having to see uh, smaller players uh, step up. We've seen uh, three new players being called up for the first time ever in the national squad for the Euro qualifiers uh, at uh, the end of this month. The first one is Gerfen uh, Turam, who is uh, 21 years old. He's a midfielder at Nice. There's also goalkeeper uh, for Lens, uh, Brice uh, Samba, uh, Samba, who... Uh, well, we'll see for the, the goalkeeping position. It's going to be big uh, shoes to fill with uh, Captain Hugo Lloris, obviously uh, being the main, main man for so many years. I think that's going to be the main uh, position for Didier Deschamps to really uh, have a look at. Uh, and uh, then we have finally a Chelsea defender, uh, Wesley Fofana, just 22 years old, getting his first call up uh, for the French squad. And obviously, despite uh, a few new names and a lot of reinvention, there's obviously a lot of big players, uh, no surprise, coming uh, back into the squad and will continue uh, to play a crucial role. Uh, role in that, the likes of Kylian Mbappe, uh, Olivier Giroud, uh, probably the veteran of this squad right now, uh, and many others. Selena Sykes from our sports desk, thanks very much indeed for telling us about both of those uh, sports stories today.